So you take your ball of clay and knead it. We need to knead this clay to get the air bubbles out of it. Otherwise it'll explode in the kiln later on. Next we're going to roll the clay out. So we use these wooden battens so we get the right thickness. Place your clay down and use your rolling pin to push away from you. Make sure you roll only one way, turning and rotating the clay. For this project, I'm going to make two dishes. I've decided to do a square one and a circular one. I've pre-cut a piece of cardboard out 10 centimetres by 10, but you can do it the size you want. And then I'm going to use this roll of tape. I place them on top to see if they both fit, and then I'm going to cut around them. With this circular one, I'm going to use it as a soap dish, so I'm going to be putting holes in it later on, and the square one will be simply a trinket dish. Now I'm just going to smooth down the edges with my fingers, gently blending. Using the straw, I'm going to cut through four little holes. For the next bit, I'm using a damp sponge to smooth off the edges. You want to get yourself a, a pasta bowl. I've got one here with high sides and then I line it with cling film and plop my piece of clay in. And I'm going to leave it overnight so it dries with a slightly curved shape to it. Again, using the slightly damp sponge to smooth off the edges and any textures, top and bottom. This one I'm going to use a slightly shallower bowl, lined with cling film again, and I plop the piece of clay in there. Day two, we're going to make the feet. So with the remaining clay, you roll it into a long coil, sausage shape gently rolling it backwards and forwards. So you want the clay about your little thickness of your little finger. I'm going to snap it in half again because we don't actually need all of this. Then I place my baton on top and gently squash it down. So I'm going to make a, a flat shape. Now we're going to cut it into four equal parts. These will be the little feet that we'll attach to the bottom of the dishes. Taking my firmer piece of clay now and smoothing off any edges, I'm going to place the feet how I think they should sit. Once I've done that, I'm going to use a fork to score in a little area on both sides, on the pot and then on the foot itself. And then I'm going to use slip to join them. Next I'll be using slip. Slip is our glue. 
It's made out of clay and water. You'll have to make your own. This is the fun bit. It's quite messy. It has needs to be of a gloopy consistency and you dab a bit on each side. This is our glue. This is how we'll join the feet, all four of them. I'm going to do this process for the other dish also, but it's up to you if you want feet on the other one. So we gently want to turn the dish over and press down to make sure the feet stick. Now we use this wooden tool to blend. You can use the tool and your fingers. Blend the edges of the feet into the base of the dish. To finish it off you can use a damp sponge to blend in as well. I'm going to set them aside upside down on the bowls and let them dry overnight until it is leather hard and then we can decorate it. You'll find some jars with coloured slips in your box. We've given you all the primary colours. They work well if you dilute them and then you paint, use them like paint. I'm painting this one with white, top and bottom. It's a good idea to have an idea of how you'd like to decorate the dishes first. I've done some little sketches in my sketchbook. We also have a Pinterest site that you might want to have a look at for different ideas to how to use slip. For this square dish I'm going to paint the bottom blue and then I'm going to paint a wave on the top. I'm starting off with quite a thin wash to begin with and then I will build up with layers of colour, letting it dry in between. I'm also going to splat some colour on there as well, see how that looks. <laughs> 